Hey, how's it going? I'm the Card Sharp. Thank you for clicking on the video and tuning in. It's been far too long since I've uploaded a video. It's been two weeks and that's just not acceptable. To those who regularly watch my channel, I'm really sorry that I've been slacking on uploads, but I'm back. I've finally been able to muster up some motivation and get myself behind my computer to finish editing videos and start new projects. But before I get back into uploading content, I want to talk about a few things, such as what future games I'm thinking about featuring for my Let's Play series, where my Friday the 13th and Dead by Daylight series are heading, and a couple new series I have lined up for this year. First, let's talk about my Let's Play series. As some of you know, I'm currently playing The Last of Us. I have one more chapter left until I'm finished with the game. All that's left to do right now is just finish the editing. So the last chapter or video for The Last of Us will be uploaded tomorrow. The next game I was initially thinking of doing was Resident Evil 7. However, with the news of the remake of Resident Evil 3 due to be released April 3rd, I'm going to hold off on Resident Evil 7 and instead do Resident Evil 2 next. I already featured this game in January of 2019 with Claire's full A scenario, but to complete the entire story and get the true Resident Evil 2 ending, in my case, since I played Claire's a scenario, I'd have to move on to Leon's B scenario. So the next game I'm going to feature is Resident Evil 2 with Leon's B scenario. This way it'll tie in with the release of Resident Evil 3. After RE3, The Last of Us 2 will be released on May 29th. There's no question I'm going to be playing that on my channel. Once The Last of Us 2 is done, other games I had in mind were The Forest, Emily Wants to Play 2, which is the sequel to Emily Wants to Play, the very first Let's Play series I did, and Dead Space, just to name a few. Oh, and I still haven't finished Detroit Become Human. Yeah, that's still active on my channel. It's been almost a year since I started that game, and close to nine months since I've uploaded the last video. Nine months. I don't want to get into it too much, but... I honestly don't know why I've been slacking on that game. It's a great game so far, I love it, but for some reason I'm just not motivated to play it. But I promise I'll eventually finish it, so that's another Let's Play that I'll be working on. Alright, let's move on to my episodic series with Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th. Dead by Daylight is due to release a new survivor, killer, and a map in the next week and a half or so, so I have that to look forward to for new content. I haven't been on Friday since I uploaded the first episode of Season 3 a month and a half ago. And just like Detroit Become Human, I'm just not motivated to get on Friday anymore. Actually, it's not even about motivation, it's about being able to feel like playing it. Since I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight, I haven't been feeling up to getting on Friday. I'm still going to release videos for my Season 3 of Friday, but they're old videos, videos that don't have my face cam reaction because they were recorded a long time ago. And I really hate to say this, but after season 3, I may just end the series. It's not because I don't have content, I have a lot of recorded gameplay, but the problem is they're old, and I don't want to keep uploading old content. And since I don't play Friday anymore, there most likely will be no newer content. It really sucks because in spite of the fact that I haven't been playing it, I still love the game so much somehow, but no, oh, that's just how it is now. Another reason why I may likely end it after Season 3 is because a new multiplayer game is going to be released on April 24th called Predator Hunting Grounds. It was developed by the same company who developed Friday, and it plays just like Friday and Dead by Daylight, where you have a group of players against one player who's out to kill that group. So I'm most likely going to make that an episodic series. The last couple things I want to talk about are two new series I'm releasing this year, Quick Play and Retro Bit Friday. Quick Play is an episodic series where I feature a different game in every episode. Unlike my Let's Play series, the idea isn't so much to finish each game. If I end up finishing the game in that episode, great, but it's mostly to briefly showcase a game in each episode, hence the name Quick Play. And the reason why I created this series is because there are games I want to feature on my channel but don't have the time or even want to finish. I just want to play it and show it on my channel. I already have a few episodes recorded with the first episode releasing in a couple days. 
The other series is called Retro Bit Friday. It's very similar to Quick Play, but this is where I'll be playing retro games, 8-bit Nintendo games that I grew up with and loved. Now, I'm thinking of doing two episodes a month, each one released on the first and last Friday of the month. And that's how I came up with the name. Retro for old games, bit as in 8-bit games, and Friday because, well, when I was a kid, Fridays were the days I could go to the video rental store to rent movies and games. It was a time when Friday really meant something, a day to look forward to because it was the start of two days off school where I can play all my Nintendo games all day. The neat thing that I'll be doing with this series is actually playing from my NES console, so I'm not going to be using an emulator. I think the best way to really experience the, the nostalgia, at least for me, is to play NES games on an actual NES console. I'd be limited to what I can play because I only have so much in my collection, but I think a collection of over 150 NES games is enough for now. Alright, that's all I have for updates on my channel. Again, thanks for tuning in. Please show support because it does help a lot. Give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Later.